guys, PJ Sullivan with Michael and Yachts here. I got my, my twin boys, Kellen and Rylan, and they've uh, been helping us commission this brand new 2022 Michelson 50 that we are putting on a freighter in about a day and a half here, headed, uh, headed over to the East Coast. So before it goes, we wanted to show you through. So come aboard and uh, we even get to talk to the owners and uh, you know ask them about their experience with the whole process. and and show you their, their very cute dog, Gertie. So uh, come aboard, take a look. Okay, we're here in the cockpit. Uh, wanted to just give you guys a quick tour. We've got our built-in bait tank table. I think everybody's seen this before. Really cool, it flips up. Got the windows for the bait tank. Got our uh, standard hinged bait tank lids here. Teak deck. We got our flybridge up to the staircase. The staircase up to the flybridge. <laughs> Sorry about that. We knew what you meant. Yeah, exactly. We got our, uh, our cool joystick um, maneuvering system. Owners put in an autopilot um, display here. They've got a, a remote mic that goes here. Uh, standard tackle center. Um, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary back here. Boys, anything to add? Speakers, IP cameras, so you can see what's going on in here. Yep. Gaudy. Simrad display outside. Really nice faucet that pulls out. Double stack of the rocket launchers. Should we go inside? Head inside. Alright. I'm following you straight in. Oh, hey guys. Hey guys, How are you? welcome. <laughs> well, thank welcome. you. Welcome. Welcome to our new Michelson. Gertie. So these are the owners, Karen, Ed, and this is Gertie. And they're kind enough to let us uh, take on a tour of their new Michelson 50 here. So guys, I know it's been a little exciting the last couple days. We're trying to get on a get this thing on a freighter yes. and it's been kind of a shotgun commissioning um how, how's it going oh it's going fantastic everybody's been really great from the whole process from planning it to building it the communication's been fantastic and uh the commissioning is going off without a hitch and everything's going fine we, we fun. couldn't be happier it's been a fun process it's and great it, working with a good family company yes. nobody paid you to say that nobody paid you to say that. all right good Gertie, Gertie did. well thank you that's awesome we've loved working with you guys uh, and what's really cool is Ed and Karen have actually been staying on the boat, so they've been learning the systems and uh, living living on their uh, condo on the water, which is really fun. Living the dream. Living the dream, exactly. And where is this boat going to end up? Situate, Massachusetts. And and summer summers in Situate and we'll be in New England. Summers in, summer. in summers in New England, yeah. winters in the Bahamas and South Florida, Florida Keys. Rough life. Yeah. So for all you East Coasters be... out there, you know, these are great Can't boats. Can be done. For... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, what are some of your guys' favorite things about this boat? Um, the flybridge, the electronics, the so comfortable up top side. Oh. Uh, the semi... anchor. <laughs> the anchor. The anchor is pretty badass. Thank you. You know to say that on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. The, the semi-displacement hull is great yes. because we're going to be cruising uh, for a lot uh, a portion of our retirement and so we get the fuel economy we get the range and then we love the fish and so we can't give up that 20 knot cruise and so yep. that's that's you know the big key we can yeah we can cruise out to the fishing grounds at 20 knot fish like banshees and we can cruise through the bahamas and sip fuel at yep. eight to ten knots so and, and only about what a three and a half inch draft so for the bahamas that's not too deep you know you, yeah, you yeah got, we'll be fine there. three and a half feet three and a half feet yeah, yeah. sorry it'll be great yes sorry <laughs> I, I put my foot in my mouth today no yeah, no, no that's feet. great so but it's yeah. it's a great fishing platform and and that's our passion we like to fish and awesome. this next stage of our life we're going to be geritol gypsies we're going to be cruising around in the boat and so that's going to work out fine how cool awesome and the stairwell to the bridge for yeah Gertie. for the yeah, dog for that was the other thing yes. for, the, for the dog she comes with us everywhere and so cute <laughs> we, need the, uh, we need the stairway up to the fly, fly yeah. bridge yeah. part of the family she's got to yes. be up there with you cool uh all right who wants to show the, the state rooms Wait, all right no oh. Just, I'm Sam will follow you. All right, okay. brother, first things first. How about we open it's that okay guy? To open? Yeah, okay. there's going to be some stuff in there. Cool. No, no worries. Sure. So this is pretty cool. We've uh, we've hinged the top of the backrest so the whole thing comes up. Um, great for rod storage or, or obviously storing other stuff too. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much this thing weighs. Hand, so hold this up. Oh my gosh, it only weighs about 40 pounds. All right, so what is the, you're talking about your anchor. This is a, an anchor release for when you get that ultra anchor stuck on the bottom in the Bahamas. You put a, a retrieve line on this, slide it over the anchor chain, slide it down, and then that'll trip the anchor and pull it up. That very heavy, very expensive anchor, you don't want to lose it. It yeah. came, you guys, in a box that looked like King Tut was inside <laughs> of it and wrapped up. And the other thing, once you're working out, 
You can play frisbee. Yeah. Gertie will retrieve that off the bottom. Right. Tag. Uh, I That's wanna her dog tag. Yeah, yeah exactly. I want to see that, Gertie. Nice. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right. Just quick side note. Holy cow! Yeah. Now, gentle, yeah. gentle. Put on your toe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got you. <laughs> All right. Why don't you guys show us forward if you would, or you want to show them up here first? Okay. Showing off your rod collection. Oh no, just the rod lockers. This is one of my favorite things. You said what I like. It's a beautiful cruising place, but there's plenty of room for fishing, and that's our passion. So that's awesome. And you guys went with this barrel chair? Yes. And so the stools. How do you <clears throat> only one barrel chair though? Rock, paper, scissors, who gets the barrel chair? Me. There you go. This, the, this the, the, the boss, the captain to, always does. To like lounge out on those, so I wouldn't mind. You know, this is a pretty nice. Oh, spot. That's oh, my spot oh PJ. Oh, PJ. And good signal outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. And then you have the. Yeah, we have the fridge. Can't get it away. No, no, no. You're doing great. Are you kidding me? Fridge, show this off. Ice maker. Perfect. Also. Tons of storage. Fridge and an ice maker back there. Yep. Yep. Big TV. Yep. I love. Yeah, tons of storage. I love the dark countertops. With the darker carpet, you guys did this massive sink. I love the sink. And then this guy is the just drinking water? Yes. Isn't that it's nice? all filter. And Gertie. <laughs> and the fans out there. All right, awesome. Heading forward. Right, Somebody's boys. walking right. forward. So we've got our, we've got our, um, this, is, this table's actually really cool. It slides out and in, so it's easier to get in and out of the, the uh, dinette here. Drops down, makes into a sleeping berth. There's a cushion that goes on top. Um, it's a nice little convertible. And that's a nice raised... I want to say um, It's a raised dinette, so we actually have more room underneath in the storage, in the dungeon. So, by raise, instead of having the sunken dinette, we raised it. So we have a lot more storage down below. I love it. Alright, I'm going to have you show me the unders lawn when I come back, if you would. Okay. So, now we have the guest, the guest um, room, where... Uh, there is a bigger bottom, it's a bunk bed, there's a bigger bottom bed and a smaller top bed and then there's storage in here and then also there's also storage here and then also in it is a bathroom. How do you get in this? Yeah. It's got a latch up top. A bathroom. There's a bathroom with a, a shower, with a shower, storage in there and storage right here, a toilet and a sink. Cool. Yep. And then I'm gonna go back and talk to the owners really quick. Okay. You guys, I was just showing the the window in the bathroom. So you guys had to make bigger dinghy chocks so that if there was ever fire on this boat, you could climb you out could through out. the portholes. Yes. Yeah, and if the factory turned the portholes 90 degrees, so when they open, you can get the the get maximum uh, opening out of them, so Ed can fit through. Yeah, so we have a okay. two foot by two foot hatch with the. Um, Hatch rotated 90 degrees, so you can lift it up, and it is an escape hatch. Yeah, and still get out with the dinghy, so it I worked out it. really well, actually. For all you safety people out there. Yeah. yeah. While, while you're here, Sam. Yeah, I was going to say, let's show them. So this boat's really cool because Ed and Karen put uh, solar on it. Hang on, Ed. Get back in the frame a little bit. All right, so tell us, because I know, and a lot, a lot of owners are just like you. They want to have their hands just as involved with the whole process of this you are the one that came up with the wiring diagram for how you wanted your lithionics house battery and then your agm start batteries with your battery b2b battery to battery chargers all that kind of stuff so let's let's hear a little bit about what your battery setup is on this boat well we wanted to do um, a lot of off the grid cruising and fishing down in the bahamas so we put in a 555 amp hour lithium battery um, and that's charged by solar. It's also charged from the, sh the shore power. And there's a battery to battery charger. So the alternator will charge the starting batteries, which are AGM, and then those will charge the, uh, the lithium batteries. So we have redundant charging systems for, for all. We have separate starting batteries, which are AGM. We have the house batteries with their lithium. And we have charging sources from shore power, the generator, solar, and what's the last one? That's it. That's and you guys have about, you have two 700 watt solar panels up on the hardtop? Correct. Awesome. Yeah. Along with a FLIR camera, a yes. radar. A FLIR, yes. And a whole bunch of other cool stuff that we're gonna show you. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys down in the under salon right now. So these, 
water filter for the fresh water, secondary water filter for the drinking water that you just saw in the sink in the galley a sec ago. This is the um, fresh water heater. These are your battery to battery charges right here. So when Ed was talking about having his AGM batteries charge his lithium ion batteries, these are the two chargers right here that do it. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, the Numar charger. So when you're plugged into shore power or the generator, this is what is charging your start batteries when you're off of the um, alternators and you're not running your engines. These breakers, these two chargers, and this remote panel right here are for the solar panels that are up on the hard top that I'll show you guys in a sec. Seakeeper 9 unit, washer dryer, and then how this whole section was raised, this is the extra area right here that you gain by having this raised settee. All right, now walk me to the master. Sorry that we went on such a side tangent. Okay, slow down guys, take it easy. Hello. Hello. So you have two big hanging lockers. What did we do cool on this one? We added a fusion remote right here because you have flush mounted fusion speakers in your master stateroom, of course. Let me show you guys. So right there you have flush mounted fusion speakers. These are portholes that don't open. Very cool. Outlets everywhere. Storage, much storage. Storage. Air conditioning. Master head, ensuite. Master has its own ensuite. All right, anything else you guys want to add down here? We're taking them upstairs. I think we're ready to go upstairs. All right, let's head on upstairs. Boys, anything else? Oh, yes. All right, one thing I did forget in the salon is they wanted a I way to watch the, Gertie the, when they were underway. We're so we just added an IP camera yeah. for the inside so you can view those on the Samrad displays. Awesome, good job. All right, heading up. Why don't, oh. Let me follow you out there. All right, so. Going up to the flybridge, we've got a few people up here. We're... Let's show it off. This is what's so cool about these Michelson 50s is how many people you can actually sit up here. <laughs> On this cushion alone, you can fit about five full-size men. Um, infinity flooring material, this stuff's awesome. Kind of has that look of teeth, but it's like a super cushy foam on your feet, really comfortable. We've got an observation tower up top and Sam can get a quick view of that. So we've got a, uh, a seat. Got our solar panels, our FLIR camera, our Let me radar array. Take you guys up here for a sec. So you can see the solar panels, radar, right in front of the radar is the FLIR. Very cool up here. And then you just have your sitting, anchor running light, all that kind of stuff. All right, back down. All right, so our, our famous Michelson tournament station. So usually on sport fishers, you just have one station back here a bunch of stuff up here that's not really too useful and um and it's just not a great cruising station so of course on the michelson from this station we can see our cockpit it's a great place to dock the boat from if you do have people fishing in the cockpit the captain can run the boat from right here see what's going on back down on the fish and if you're cruising you go to your forward station and and you're you're like a uh, you know a pilot house boat where your your station's up front you can see everything forward and uh, sorry i'm just trying to give them a no, view so Glendenny Pro Pilot System, conventional drives right here, a secondary thruster remote, autopilot, and then another MDF display right there. Yep. MFD, not MDF. MFD. Why do I always want to say display. MDF? It's a. It's. it's just what's a, the throwable? I don't know. Well, somebody comment down below if you know what I was talking about. I'm gonna let Ed tell about the windshield. All right, Ed. Can we get a demonstration of the windshield? Uh, absolutely. So in the in the great northeast, when we come in from fishing, the sun sets in the west, so you have some spray on the, the front windshield and you can't see anything. So everybody has just enclosures out here. We went with the windshield with the active washer and wiper system. Ooh. Yeah, show how it goes. It takes a while for the water. Oh, that's awesome. So you're getting fresh water that's getting pumped out. And then you have two that's wipers so right here. And this is not Macrolon. This is a hard piece of glass up front. And it's really cool. So how they did it is they just put it in a normal track system. So it looks like a piece of enclosure. And then they put these really nice uh, stainless support beams on it to help hold it tight. But two wipers so we can get them both going at the same time. 
every couple seconds. But I think for Pacific Northwest, you guys are going to where? Northeast. Northeast. All those places will be good. Yeah. No, that, that came out really cool. Yeah, it did. That's really neat. All right, should we take them up to the bow? Show them your guys' this huge dinghy and your huge anchor? Absolutely. The anchor. The anchor. That's, that's important. Awesome. All right, after you. This bridge looks so sweet. We're missing one 24 inch display is gonna go here, but it didn't come in time and the boat's gotta get on the freighter. So we're gonna ship the boat. That's why I put all the warning stickers. Don't tell anybody that, but uh, we're gonna ship the boat like this. It's already pre-wired and behind it. And the owners are gonna have somebody put in the 24 inch display on the East coast. Dude, you got the cup holders in. Yeah. You know, awesome. your, you know your brother, dude, he's I, getting it done. I should never have doubted you. <laughs> hey, look at these stainless steel cup holders. These things are awesome. And they've got their, their beer can sized, or if you have like a coffee cup, you put it in, but those yeah. are We got them cool. spread out kind of all over. Yeah, Top on the back. Got to do right. it. All right. Um, and we showed them the table and stuff. Hey, but right, let's talk about the live well a little bit. You love the live well, just the hinges on it? Well, I love the size of the live well, the location of the live well, and the access to it. It's just, it's fantastic. Well, PJ, a lot of live bait fishing. Did you invent the transom bait tank? I didn't, but Dick Peterson of Michelson Yachts, I think, might have. Personally did. He's I got did. the patent on it. Dick does. Dick does. Yeah. 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 And then a lot of people copy us, so you, you see it now on a lot of boats, but we were the first. And if you don't agree, you can comment. You know, and, and we'll just disagree with you. We'll, so. Exactly. We'll just argue with you. So. <laughs> All right. Heading up front. All right. This is a Michelson. What <laughs> kind of beautiful boat is that? Dad, this is such a big deal. I agree. It is a very like cool, it? very big game. We got one dead kid. No, 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 no. Leave, Leave the cover on. on. You guys okay. are crazy. Yeah, okay. yeah. Really nice dinghy. It's a, it's a, cover. It's a Walker cover Bay beautiful. Venture. It's 14 feet with a 70 horsepower Yamaha on it. It's got the, the stand thing that pops out for the inner tube or the wakeboard. It's got four rod holders. This is like the meanest, baddest machine you could buy besides the Michelson 50, but let's tell them about your auto rotational davit right here. Well, this thing is fantastic. It has automatic uh, luffing, extension, and rotation. And uh, you don't have to swing it or do anything. It all does it automatically. Um, for people thinking about a dinghy on this, this was a big thing for us when we bought it. The 14 foot dinghy fits on here fantastic. It's a big dinghy, but um, it there's plenty of room for it. and. Uh, there's even room for this. How many person is this guy? It's a six, uh, six man uh, life raft. That's actually a really good spot. That's after perfect. All. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't interfere at all with your anchor locker. That was one of the big things. I remember. Here, right? Can we hop up for a second? Show him, show him the anchor. Get a picture of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're trying to decide what would fit on it. No, it, it's it's great. All right. Well, here we are with six of us up here. Plenty of room. All right, let's show them the anchor locker real quick. Oh, down there, check out the Twist. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Oh, that's oh. pretty. So we actually, I actually had to have the factory enlarge, heighten the, the hole where the anchor comes through because this anchor was so much bigger than uh, our standard. And I don't think you guys are ever gonna come off come off anchor. Or, no, or we're gonna be safe. We'll sleep drift. well at night. Yeah, yes. you will sleep well at night. I'm glad you have that donut to get it back up because otherwise <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd be very nervous. <laughs> the anchor's worth about a, a third of the boat, so we, <laughs> we don't ever wanna lose it. Yeah, Jeez, shout out to Lumar. <laughs> it's a cool anchor, isn't it? Awesome. It's a stingray. Now standard on all Michaels. Yeah, well. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for this beautiful walkthrough tour. Tomorrow, we're going to get another video of you guys actually christening the boat. And then Thursday, this thing's heading down to Ensenada, brother. So we will be making another video. So we got some more videos. So I'm going to go home right now and post this thing. And thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more. Michaelson out. Hey, Dad, I got to show him one more thing. All right. Just your windshield from the outside because it looks so good. So we put the vents in so you could still get some air circulating through there. Yep, absolutely. But you have heating and air conditioning out there as well. All right, I'm stepping up for a sec. So again, what I was talking about, solar panel, clear camera in the home position so it's down, your Simrad radar, another uh, solar panel, viewing tower station up there. 
And then this is for your water and your electrical right here for these guys. But look how slick that is. I love it. I love it. I love it. No, you can talk like you're 